Hello my dear viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about first lesson in the 9th class social studies textbook Telangana State Board that is our earth. See students, our earth also called as blue planet. Blue planet because, because more percent of water available on the earth. It is also called as green planet. Why it is called as green planet? Because only on the earth there is a trees. Okay. So it is also called as a blue planet. It is also called as a green planet because availability of the greenery, trees and all things. See, and our earth we are calling as it is our home. It is our home. Right. If you see your home, that means our earth. If you see or if you observe this home from space, from the space, if you observe our home, it will, you know, look like a tiny dot, a tiny dot, a small dot. So, see once, our planet, on our planet, plains, plateaus, our home, surroundings, countries, our, your district, your mandal, your village, your house, everything is existed on the small dot. How it is wonder? How it is very amazing, isn't it? See, this tiny dot, American scientist Mr. Carl Sagan, American scientist this Carl Sagan also stated that human history evolved from this tiny dot. All, everybody, so many generations came. Okay, now our generation is going on, upcoming so many generations will come and they live on this small dot. He circled this pale dot yellow dot this human evolution was happen on this dot he was mentioned in our first page picture number one picture number 1.1 Carl Sagan American astronomer explained about this dot that he said that human history evolved great history we had a very great history about our earth about our countries about our persons this all everybody we are every day we are fighting with our countries, every day with our fighting with our friends, fighting with our neighbors, relatives and because of small piece of land, if you observe this small dot, where is our home, where is our life, it's a small dust, that's it. So it is our earth is our home. See now our home, now our earth is in a dangerous position, it is in a dangerous condition. Dear students, earth is a wonderful planet, diversive planet, diversive people, diversive landforms, diversive countries, diversive fruits, diversive agriculture, how it was very diversive. In your 6th class, 7th class, 8th class, you learnt about different different features of the earth, different different countries, rivers, plains, plateaus, deserts, waterfall, oceans, these all existed on this tiny ball, small tiny dot, what we have discussed just now. It was very diversive. It's a very rich in ecosystem, very rich in biodiversity, very rich in biodiversity, rich in biodiversity, biodiversity, biodiversity means what? Full greenery, lot of creatures. It's a not only the place of human beings. Earth is not made for you and for myself. Earth was made not only for ourselves but also for the all living creatures, all living organisms, plants, animals, microorganisms, all are living in our earth. It is also home of all other living creatures. It is also home for microorganisms, animals, plants, this all etc. But now this very rich in biodiversity, our home, it is in a dangerous condition. Why it was very rich in biodiversity? Why it was life was possible on the earth? Life possible, life possible, possible on earth. Why? Because, because water and air, water and air. If there is, there is no water, there is no air, there is no possibility of life on the planet we cannot imagine okay so the life evolved the human life evolved around human life human life evolved on the earth about one lakh years ago one lakh years ago before one lakh year ago nothing was there on the planet nothing was there just one lakh year ago 
the human life evolved so when this human life was evolved they are started benefits they utilizing the resources they are benefiting from the earth they are benefiting from the biodiversity they want vegetable they are taking from the forest they want meat also they are gathering from the forest they are they want honey they also taking depends upon the forest they want they need water they are taking from the rivers everybody everything the human getting everything from the biodiversity from the forest but right now human being for the sake of their own benefit for the sake of their own benefit own benefit they are damaging this biodiversity they are damaging the water they are damaging the air they are damaging everywhere everywhere see everybody including myself we all responsible for this uh, this reckless depletion of our resources we all in each and every individual on the planet responsible for the present environmental crisis of the planet see once upon a time in your in your area there was an agriculture there was agriculture land right now any industry or a house flats or plots are being they are they are making arrangements for the plots once upon a time there was a forest once upon a time there was a tree and our human interaction due to the human interaction now there was a conflict environmental conflict environmental crisis is emerged because we are clearing our forest we are taking lot of fossil fuels we are doing mining quarrying deforestation using plastics using vehicles establishing industries these all are damaging our environment damaging our home so that is a serious concern about our home earth see we are trying to modify ourselves we are trying to benefit from the earth see at the same time we are not thinking that wantedly we are damaging but the sake of our own benefits because we want we want a comfortable life we want comfortable life so that's what we are we started construction we want comfortable life so we are laying roads we want uh, railway tracks so we are uh, you know clearing the forest we want food food grains and we are clearing forest and we are going for agriculture so our surroundings are in dangers we are changing our surroundings a lot so that was the main conflict right now so what kind of the activities what our human activities what kind of the human activities activities leads to leads to conflict conflict or crisis for first deforestation deforestation we are clearing trees we are cutting trees for the construction of roads railways or and making uh, plots next and and uh, industries and next pollution vehicles industries next mining mining we want coal for the power we are we are going for the mining we want uh, you know granite stone for the floor we are quarrying and uh, mining we are doing okay and uh, next uh, uh deforestation pollution mining quarrying and we are establishing industries industries these are few examples and our vehicles vehicles unnecessarily we are taking out our vehicles polluted vehicles and we are using fossil fuels fossil fuels excessive fossil fuels and uh, using of excessive plastic plastic so these all are leading for the conflict these all are creating environmental issues this is a very serious concern right now a serious concern so that's what there is a summit cop summit every year a cop summit will be held or many countries will discuss about the temperature because every year day by day day by day temperatures year by year increasing if these temperature increase human life may not possible on our home our homes will be you know dead nobody will live on the planet so our exploitation of resources simply we can say that exploitation of resources this exploitation of resources resources these are these are resources leads to environmental crisis the whatever i have wrote and exploit a reckless exploitation 
reckless exploitation leads to environmental crisis sir this if what happened the environmental crisis Ex environmental environmental crisis see sir exploitation of resources and uh, deforestation industries pollution vehicles plastic this all leads to environmental crisis so what happen for if environmental crisis occurs see whatever today we are facing these are the result of our actions now huge temperature in the summer the temperatures are more in the month of march and february itself the temperatures are very high so the environmental crisis the problem the issues of environmental issues first one is climate change the climate will be changed in the winter season there is no much cold in the rainy season no rain in the summer season full temperature okay so climate change climate change leads to global warming global warming and you already know the depletion of ozone layer ozone layer ozone layer issue ozone layer deplet depletion okay next fourth one is drought drought there is no rainfall drought and famine next uh, ground water okay no ground water what will happen okay no ground water see chennai and bengaluru suffering a lot water crisis they do not have sufficient water for their emergency purpose for drinking purpose also no and uh, next uh, sixth one sea level increases sea level increases what happens sea level increases if the sea level increases goa mumbai visakhapatnam chennai cities will be submerged that was, that was a serious threat next uh, loss of biodiversity loss of biodiversity sir what what happens are this loss of biodiversity if if we loss biodiversity if we loss biodiversity some of the medicinal plants medicinal herbs will be not available for us you know most of the due to the environmental crisis many important uh, plants were you know extinct uh, extinct see there was a vulnerable okay vulnerable some of the plants and uh, animals and creatures in the vulnerable category and some of the uh, plants and uh, species flora and uh, fauna endangered endangered category and some of extinct extincted already extinction these all extinction so for example gangetic dolphin chi asiatic cheetah crocodile these are, are not available if in the future tiger also may not have maybe not available elephant also will be not available that we have to see in only youtube or uh, in the picture or posters or photographs that's it only available for us so if the loss of biodiversity happen biodiversity happen if we lose very important flora and fauna it will very difficult to us to survive so these things will be happen and no no drinking water and flash floods floods also will come sudden rainfall will come flash floods flash floods so these are the some of the things will be happen more number of consequences were there huge temperatures sea level increases flash floods and uh, rivers also polluted rivers rivers polluted due to mining and quarrying due to mining and quarrying rivers also polluted see these all things will be happen and uh, acid rains then acid rains acid rains acid rains also will be happen and uh, uh, food crisis there is no possibility of food now you are enjoying the food but if you neglect the environment these all things will be happen if these all things will be happen then there is a no possibility of life on the planet which we are calling our home sir okay sir what we have to do right now yes you are saying there was environmental crisis i hope once you imagine yourself once you observe your surroundings this environmental crisis is happening or not i am saying true or not once you observe once you interpret yourself it is going on or not still now it, now it is you know in the future generation may may face a lot of issues a lot of troubles now our before generation was lived around 100 to 110 120 years right now our life so life expectancy was only about 65 to 70 years the upcoming generation may live to 40 to 50 years so the life so life expectancy also will be decreases delhi you see you see the delhi you know a lot of um, a smog a lot of issues 
government declaring holidays lot of industries yamuna river polluted in hyderabad musi river polluted nearby your uh, villages your uh, tank or uh, river also may be polluted okay then what we should do yes sir yes what we what we can do sir we will do sir what we can do what we can do the whatever i have written we have to reverse so we can do against of that to save our environment to save our ecology save our biodiversity so the leave these all save yourself you wanted to live better the upcoming generation live comfortably so we must do that first avoid fossil fuel avoid fossil fuel fossil fuel means petroleum diesel products vehicles should be not not to use and elect encourage electric vehicles encourage electric vehicles next depend upon solar solar and wind power wind energy solar and wind energy lot of technology improved why we can't adopt solar and wind energy if wind energy not possible we are not living on you know hilly hilly areas solar can be possible because we are living in a tropical region so solar energy is very possible to us next we need to save water we need to save water and uh, ground water recharge ground water ground water recharge no one is taking care about the ground water recharge simply they are leaving the water they are going out okay next uh, recycling of product recycling recycling of products so many things are there products next uh, ban of plastic ban of plastic adopt uh, adopt uh, organic farming adopt organic farming all whatever the food we are eating that is all you know chemical food chemical injected food okay and you need to save the electricity in your home you have to uh, you know save the electricity and uh, use eco friendly product eco friendly eco friendly product products and uh, whatever the resources we have that resource resources utilization of the resources should be minimized then only the next generation may be utilize that and more important is the 10th one is afforestation afforestation plant trees that is a solution plant trees who are planting simply government is adopt a harita haram that's it yourself are you planting are you planted how many of you planted how many Uh, plants saplings you planted and how many grown how many became big trees no so these all things we need to be adopt each and every individual was responsible for present condition of the human life small small kids are suffering a lot so the next generation also will suffer a lot so now we need to be realize that these all things whatever in temperature increasing no rains drought bengaluru chennai cities are suffering for lack of water sea level are increasing rivers are polluted these all are because of ourselves each and every individual was responsible for this condition then now we need to be feel this is a right time to awake this is a right time to arise ourselves and think ourselves that each and every individual was responsible for the damage which was happen now each and every individual must be responsible for to do this all they must be do this all at least a few step by step step by step if you follow this definitely one day our life will be saved if you save the planet the planet save your life if you neglect the planet the planet will be neglect your life valuable medicines also we may lose ayurvedic medicinal plants very wonderful flora and fauna we have that we may it it will be decrease so our activity should not damage our uh, our nature our activities must be protect our nature so that was the theme of our first page of our lesson so hope you understand and i may sincere appeal to you that please we need to be adopt to this all then If somebody may be other people also will be realize then one day the all members will be realize they think that yes this is the right time to protect save our environment so save the planet save a life thank you all jai hind